and welcome back to my series on landing your message and building your following using free internet tools and in this video we are going to create the actual landing page in MailChimp in the free version of MailChimp and a landing page is simply a, a web page okay and it's a place to send people when um, okay let me let me do the share here and we'll just show you all right so share all right, so the landing page is where you send people that has that, that initial message. Generally, a landing page refers to having one specific message with one specific call to action. Now, my focus is, is just to help people have a place to start and be able to, to describe their message and uh, ask, give people the opportunity to uh, sign up. So under campaigns, and I think, um, yeah, also in the create menu, you have create landing pages. Uh, older versions of MailChimp, it was under campaigns, and so view by type uh, landing page. So either will work. Um, go to landing page, and what is the name of the landing page? So landing page, landing your message and building your following using free online tools. Okay, so that's my working name right now. Um, and down here, uh, this is the account, so I only have one account. Um, again, actually that would be the audience list, uh, but for the free version, it will always be one. Um, so they have a series of templates, and um, you might want to just read that because they're using some stock in, in, image and copies. And so there's some additional terms there, so you probably should be reading these terms because sometimes terms can have some weird stuff in them. And um, to use a template, you just you know go through, see what template you want to use. Um, I want to use something pretty simple right now, so um, I'm just going to choose "Grow Your List." All right, so right there, "Grow Your List," and now this brings us into the editor. Now this is a um, kind of a, a a visual editor here, and it has blocks okay so you see as I move my cursor over here and you can move these blocks into different things and um, to edit these blocks basically you just have to click on them and then you edit over on the right side so this is kind of the live view of what you're going to see and um, with the template that I had it allows me to just display my logo so the way I get my logo in here is um, I click on that uh, and then say replace from their default. I could go in my files, and what I want to do is actually upload. So if I've had it uploads in here, it would already be showing these. But over here to the right, it's got the upload button here. You can also like import this from a, a web page. So if you have an actual URL with the picture on it, um, that might be something like Dropbox or even just you know the actual image. Um, from a web page or something here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload my logo. Um, so that and say oh, open. So once we hit upload, it'll show you your progress here. And when it's uploaded, it will add it to my files, which are just files that um, are on MailChimp, right? So these are our pictures and whatnot. And it may or may not be selected, and if it's not, you'll still see the upload here, but you have to actually select one with a little checkbox there and then say insert. So that now actually moved that file into this landing page that we are creating, and there it is. Um, so now we want to have our title here, and this is our big headline goes here. All right, now I have um, a Word doc, whoops, I got a Word document open. Um, where uh, I can have things like um, the name of of the of the program. So land your message and build your following using free online tools. Okay, great. That sounds good. So that's all we need for that one. If you want to change the size, that might be a little bigger than you want. You can come over here. You can change the size. Um, this is using styles like headers, so this is a, like a heading one or a heading two. Um, if you want to center it, you know, these are some things that um, you've probably seen in other programs. If you've uh, worked with building any kind of, um, you know, see it kind of editor. Uh, okay, so that's good. We can say save and close. Actually, if you just go click to the next one, it'll close it. 
Um, so this is kind of my first block here. So um, I'm going to copy this, and I'm just going to say that this is my mission. So here's here's a good thing. I don't want to just add another block because we'll talk about adding a block here in a second. Um, but I want to just create a little header in, within the header here and, um, and just call it mission. All right. But I don't want it to be the same. I want it to be bold. I want the color to be um, color, color, color. Where's color? I want the color to be, there's background color. This is text color. I want the color to be automatic, which will use the template thing. So actually, it's in this case, I don't want it. I want it to be black. So automatic will say the color of whatever's in the template. This will override the color of the template and will make it black, as you can see over here now. Um, and I want that to be a little higher. So um, we'll just increase the size to 18. I'd like to even be a little bit more than that. So we'll just bring up the fall. Now, Again, this is all in the same block here, right? So um, we've got we've got the block here, and then I can come over here and I can replace that with what I've got in my program already. So we'll just paste that um, mission helping people. Great, we all like helping people. Okay, so that now has this block filled out. So I just have my mission. And then down here, uh, we have another block, which is just the email. We'll talk about that in a moment. But this is where you actually collect your email addresses. And now we want something kind of in between here, right? And as I click between these blocks, you can see it, it you know, shows the, the edible version of that. But um, in between, you guys see that. So to get to being able to add a block, you, may, you have to come over here and say save and close. And then it will show you the types of blocks that you can have. Now this is like a text box. This is a um, image on the logo on the top here. This is an image, uh, image with group. So you know, you can just kind of drag these in and see, see how they are. But I like keeping it simple. And most things you can just do with a text block. Um, so I'm just going to add a text block and then you kind of roll it over to where you want to drop it into. And now we have a text block in between the two other blocks. Uh, and here I want to say this paragraph. And then, so remember, you don't edit on the left, you edit on the right. And I just click the other block. So click this block, make sure you're on the right block. Um, edit that. And now I want to do the same thing. So I say save and close. I bring over another block. And actually, in this case, I don't need to. Um, so if I say, oh, I didn't mean to do that block because, you know, um, if I click here, let's make sure. Yeah, we got a little white space here. So um, this this spacing in between, I don't like so well. There's a big line in between. If we come over to the mission block, you can see um, right here, it's like, and you go just a little bit more. There's actually the blinking cursor here. And if I back that up, you see it kind of squishes it there and goes save and close. Um, and then we have a block here. But there's still quite a bit of white space there. And I just want this next paragraph to be a paragraph. Um, so instead of creating a new block, I just come over here where I edit on the right. And I just hit enter a couple times. And I talk about my program there. And again, I have an extra line there. But in this case, that'll be OK because I think there's a third paragraph um, and create a paragraph there. So as you see, this is just kind of growing on the left and showing us what we get. Um, and then finally, so this is just, you know, all stuff I wrote ahead of time. And here's a very important tip. Matter of fact, um, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to stop the share. And I'm going to talk to you directly. Make sure that you write your stuff in a separate document. Save often. Okay. Anytime that you try to create stuff in something that's online, if you lose your internet connection, if you accidentally delete something you didn't mean to delete, I had a client just do that the other day. She thought she was deleting a big picture and she ended up deleting everything she wrote. And she wrote it all in here and it's like, don't, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Write it in a file on your computer. Okay. So I just wanted to get big and, and, and just, you'll, you'll thank me because the first time you lose something, it's not fun. So, um, 
uh, again, this is just to kind of get you going. So I don't want the thing here. And we had added this other block, but I don't want that block there. So then to delete a block, you just go here and it will delete everything. Now, make sure you're on the right block, which I was not. Oh, did I just do my, I just did a bad. <laughs> okay. I ended up deleting the, um, where you actually ask for the email message. Um, I thought I was here. I thought I had done that. Hmm. I'll have to watch the replay and see what happened there. Um, but if you want it again, um, you just got to have the, the right, block down here so a sign up form is what it was so if we drag a sign up form over here uh it, okay so i had put it down here and it doesn't want it down here it wants it up there and now you see it says drop block so there's another little handy hint, hint to know and then all of a sudden we get this back again so what i meant to do was delete this block and I, whoops, see, it just happened again. And my, my finger slipped at the last minute. And instead of hitting that delete button, I think I hit that delete button. But I meant this delete button. Um, are you sure you're about to delete the block and all its contents? And say delete. And now I actually delete the, the block I meant to delete, not the other. All right. So now we actually already have a landing page. Um, and that'll work. Now you can add things. You can go in, you can put a button and have the button send you to different landing pages. Um, we can add a divider. Um, we can move stuff around. Um, so here it's actually, I'd like to say, um, I would actually like to say something. I wanted to format it a little bit differently. So um, save and close so I can get back to my menu. Um, I'm going to put a box text drop. So enter your name and I guess it's not even asking for a name, but I want to ask for a name. So this would be a good thing. Now I might want to end up changing the wording of that. So um, if I click again now in this block, I wanted to add first name. So um, I want to put first name. I want a last name. Some actually, some, some clients will let you put first and last name and it'll kind of figure it out. But sometimes people have hyphenated last names and things like that. So um, if you want the address, you want the phone number, you want to know their birthday. And there is probably a way to um, uh, add custom fields too. But we're not going to talk about that because right now the whole idea is just to get started. And... Um, and that'll do it. All you need really is their email address, even their name or more than their first name, but it's nice to get their name. If you want to require them to put their name in, you come over here and you do this. Email address is always required uh, because that's the whole point. We're trying to get their email address and MailChimp is an email client server. So the email is, is required. Um, generally, I like to leave things not required um, other than the email address. That way, if they don't want to give their first name, but they're willing to give your email, at least you have that. And um, there we go. Save and close. And there you go. You got it. Um, so there's, there's other things that could be useful to making it pretty and whatnot and if you got questions about that if you want me to do another video just kind of going into the details of how to um, make this look a little prettier but you know right now the whole point of my training right now is, is to be able to get a landing page just to get through the technology of a landing page so that you can start actually taking your time to make you know, learn what you need to learn to refine your message to start growing it because you know a lot of times if you've got a message that people need to hear they're going to sign up for it regardless of the formatting of your page but you know if you're running a business and you've got a certain branding and whatnot you're going to want to learn a little bit more about making it you know pretty but again the point of this series is to get you started without having to pay monthly fees because this is the free version right and and so you can be growing your list you can be um getting started without actually spending a lot of money. Okay, so I am going to skip a lot of the formatting right now. Okay, so now we've got a basic landing page. We've got a logo and a picture. You can add more pictures. You can um, use the blocks over here, drag them over, add whatever you want. You can click on the blocks 
change them. Let's say, for example, we want to come change the font color of this guy here because its heading is black. So um, get that out of the way. Uh, if you want to make it black, Okay, so now I'm messing it up. <laughs> so if you mess something up here, another really handy key to know is hold down the control key and go Z. And um, that will undo the latest thing that you did. All right, so let's say you didn't want it actually to be black or you accidentally hit a key like I did. Control Z will undo that, that edit and get that back for you. Um, if you delete something otherwise, like that delete button, you can't get it back. But if you're if you're typing and you want to get, say, okay, that's not what I meant, control Z, and let's get rid of the white spaces at the bottom so that the paragraphs come together. And in my case, I actually think I do want that text to be a different color. Let's, let's do something interesting. Um, so we'll just make that color, um, whatever the color that is, kind of a off red. Um, if you want to bold it, you want to italicize it, etc. So there's the mission, there's a basic description, here's the call to action, there's the email form, and save and close. And so we now have a web page. So let's go check this out, see what it looks like. So up here we have the preview button. You click that it'll warn you that you're just in preview mode and you can select whether it's desktop or mobile so now kind of scrolling down here uh, you kind of get an idea of what it would look like you know and then maybe we want to put a bar there or change the color of this or you know I just cut and paste from a document that's a working document for me so I don't you know have to read through this and, and, and evaluate it but you know it's probably good right now and I can start collecting people's email address um, so We'll talk about, we'll actually do a test on this, but I don't want to do it in preview mode here. So we can close out on preview mode. And like I said, right now, um, today, as I'm recording this, it's May 23rd, 2020. And this stuff gets developed all the time. And um, one thing that might be confusing is like, okay, what now? It's like, where's the save or where's the continue or where's the, you know, get back to the, to the, um, you know, anything besides preview. Well, if you come up here to the little MailChimp icon, and hopefully um, this will not be a problem once you are going to edit something or the MailChimp will make it a little easier. But if you just click up there, it's going to take you back to the dashboard. And if you didn't finish some of the setup, um, like um, designing your first email ad contacts, we'll get into that here in a little bit. But if you click up here on the MailChimp button, it will bring you back into where you can get this menu again. So if you didn't finish your setup, it might it might throw that up here, there on your dashboard. And we initially created this with landing page, but landing pages are actually part of campaigns. So if I click on campaigns and scroll down here, you'll see landing pages, um, which is what it was already on. If I'm on emails, it should say you don't have any emails. But if I go to landing page, there we are, and this is in draft mode because we never actually published it. Um, and if you want to replicate this, you can do that. So if you like, you know, say, well, I like this, but maybe I can do better, or maybe I'll mess it up if I try to make it better. So you can come down here and you can just replicate this. And I am a big believer, big believer <laughs> in, um, in backups, right? So I'll just say that to you directly. I'm a big believer in backups. So this just made a copy of um, that that web page that we just did, that landing page we just did. I want to speak to you that working with this technology stuff can be very frustrating, all right? And you need to just kind of breathe, <laughs> take your time, uh, reach out, get help where you need to. Um, this brings me to getting help with MailChimp. Um, they have their help center in there. When I get back there, I'll, I'll kind of show you where that is. Um, but, you know, keep it simple. And once you learn this, you'll have it. And once you have this landing page, um, you'll be able to take your time and go learn what you need to learn or hire a virtual assistant or Fiverr or outsource this in some way because your time is probably better spent on creating your message and uh, running your business or writing your book or doing your creative stuff.
So um, just wanted to emphasize that. So let's get back here. And um, okay, so you have the page title, which is what will show up here, like when it says landing pages in the tab, it, this page title, this is what will be here. And um, I made a replica of the original page, so that's why it says copy one and page title. But then I wanted to be able to rename it so when it lists it in MailChimp, it shows something different. And I went and I said edit name, and uh, I'll try it again, edit name, backup, you know, two, save, definitely saved. It's showing its thing here. Um, I say finish later. And uh, now we're seeing it. So maybe it didn't like going back in the browser and I had to say finish later. So um, if we come down here, we see that the name is the full name, including the long name. This is the shorter name. I'll say finish later. I want to make sure that the backup I had, by the way, this moved it up top. So if I go to backup two, um, let's just make sure that we know how to do it. I want to edit the internal name, uh, just back to the original backup, click save. This I want to leave so it says copy, just so that I know that, you know, if I pull this up accidentally, I know it. I go finish later, not back on the browser, but finish later. And the most recent edited landing page is on top. We want to leave that as my copy so that if I go down here and I make massive changes and I don't like them, um, I can. I have just a way to get back to my verbiage. Again, you want to put your verbiage into an external document, save it on your computer, and then cut and paste this stuff into these uh, pages online that that could save you a lot of trouble a lot of hassle later um, the URL okay now moving forward now we have a landing page that internally is called you know, internally to MailChimp is called landing your message and building your following you can name this whatever you want but realize that it can't be much longer than that the actual page title this is what the internet will see as the page title um, can be longer, um, so we've got that, and then the URL. So um, we want to get this URL. I can just cut and paste this, and that's the URL that we will tell people to go to, uh, except we haven't published it yet. So we want to make sure we publish this. So if we want a different URL, um, then the first part the first part of all this, this part here, less the L, this part here, um, is the randomly generated part that it's referring to here. The second part, you can make a little short, short landing your message and building your, okay, um, landing your message. So we can leave that alone or we can make it shorter. And I think at the moment I'll just leave it alone. So we'll, we'll say save. Um, if you wanted to go down and make other edits, um, there's the URL, the audience and tags. Um, okay, we're gonna have a whole nother video on tags here. And uh, right now, I, what I really wanna just point out is, is this where is where you can um, add a tag to anybody who adds something to this page. So you can have multiple landing pages and each landing page you could then add a different tag. So I'll create a tag called landing your message. And it creates that. And so now anytime anybody signs up via this particular MailChimp landing page, it will add a tag called landing your message. And if I cover over, you'll see it's it's actually the, the long name there. Um, audience with a free version, you'll always have just one audience. And we'll save that again just because it's good. I want to edit the content to make sure that we don't get confused between this and the backup that we created on the landing page. Um, so coming down here, let's just say I don't like the fact that that's black. And instead of just text, we want to change this black background um, and add an image with it. So we can drop an image um, or we can browse into a new image. I'll have text underneath here and I can 
uh, either drop an image in there or just go browse. Uh, if it's an image I have, I need to select it. Otherwise, I can go upload. And uh, actually, I'd like to have like, you know, a hand pointing or something like that. But just for, for example's sake, we'll just throw that in there. Um, note that it uploaded. I say uploaded. It uploaded it to my files, which is your files within MailChimp. Um, you have to actually select it and then come over here and say insert. Okay, so there's the image. Uh, it's taken up the full space of that, which is obviously not what we're going to want, but we want to have text with this. So let's say we want the image to the left, but the, in the text to the right, if you go over to settings, the number of images, so we can have it have multiple images. We want the position, we want the image to actually be on the left. And when we did this, it made the image, it automatically made the image smaller for us to be able to put the text in there. Uh, the image width we can have uh, various proportions of, of the whole thing. So I want a fairly small image. So uh, the caption I want is similar to this. So I can just come back here and copy that into the clipboard, come back down here, replace their thing here. Uh, I want that text to be black. So I'll come up here. I'll change the text color to black instead of using the template color. I also want the size to be considerably larger, um, or I can just use a heading. So let's go like heading two, um, but I don't like heading two. So I don't like heading two. I can go control Z. Don't forget control Z. Control Z will undo that change. Um, let's see what, um, heading three looks like well i like that a little bit better but i don't like heading three control z undo it um the text is highlighted let's just say well let's just make it something big uh and if i wanted to edit the text for that now i want to center that i don't like center so i can go control z and it's now too big so you know you can just go play around this as much as you want I want to want to recommend that you not worry too much about the layout of this page. Right now, there's other things that we want to get going. Um, if you want a background color here, we'll just go to the background color. We'll give it a nice little orange. Oops, I gotta highlight the text and then give it a nice little, um, nice little dark orange. So that's the background of the text, not the background. So again, I don't like that, control Z. And this guy is redundant. So I click on the um, this little block and I say delete, make sure you're deleting the right block. And remember, that's why we created a backup of this in the first place. Um, we created a copy of this. So if we make a bunch of changes here and we just don't like any of them. We can go replicate the, the backup, rename it to the real thing and call it good. Um, so I'm going to call this pretty much good. Um, the text itself, I actually would probably want to change a little bit. I want to make it bold. I want it to make it a little bit larger. I want it to be centered. Maybe since now it's two lines, that's good enough for me and we'll call that good save and close and if we come back down here i want to point this out again to the blocks and the styles so the styles is something that is you know relevant to the template and the page and the header we can go blocks can probably um you know have a background color um and a border type so just go play around with all of this but make a copy of your page first before you go do that um, you'll be able to play around with this and not have to worry about it too much. Um, so when you're done with this, uh, oh, and I wanted to point out that if I come down here to one of these blocks that has settings, then settings shows up. So if you're up here, like on this previous block and you're saying, well, how do I change this now? I want to make the picture on top or to the other side or whatever. First click on the block, then settings will come up and now you can move the picture to the right. I actually like the left, so I'm going to leave it there, save and close. And now you want to go back and preview this. Now, preview is right there, but I'm ready to publish this guy now. So to publish this, I go back to my MailChimp thing here because for some strange reason, I am not seeing a navigation back to 
um, the actual desk, uh, the actual, um, yeah, the desktop works, but so I click on our little MailChimp friend here. That brings us back here. I go back into campaigns. I go back into um, landing pages, which is what we were already on. And here we are. Okay. So, um, so click on this guy. And we've never published this yet. So if we come here and we go to this URL, we're going to get a nasty little thing here. This is going to give us the same message. So I paste that URL into there and we get the page can't be found. Why? Because we haven't actually pu published the page. Okay. To do that, you want to go publish. So if everything looks good, we have our audience, we've got our content. Um, and now we go publish and we go publish MailChimp gives us a nice little high five there. And here's your URL for it. So again, you want to just, copy this and now use that as your URL for wherever you're sending people. So if you've got a Facebook post, if you've got a Facebook post or, you know, um, you know, an Instagram or just wherever you want, that's the URL you put into. And uh, let's see, can I go do it? Nah, I don't want to post it. So I'm just going to clip it into the browser right now. Later I'll show you about doing a post and um, there it is. I got my logo, I got my heading, I got my mission. Uh, I was thinking I could put a little divider in there uh, and the email name, and this is now live. So if I now come over here and I go online at mileseddy.com and give it my first name, and I don't, I told it it was optional to give the name, but the online, the um, address is always the same, and I go subscribe. And it says success you've been added so if it knows the email that you put in uh, has been added then that little sign up block will go away and that's it folks okay so there you go uh, now you have a landing page you have a way to have people actually give their information and in the next video I'm going to show you how to create an auto response email now the free version allows a, an email to go out automatically when they first sign up. If you wanted uh, emails to go out after that, um, then you need the paid version, and we'll, we'll talk about that here in uh, a couple of videos from now. Okay, I hope that helps. My name's Miles Eddy, and if you need some help, please reach out, and I'll talk to you then.